it's another day, another vloggy video. Ah, the cool thing about these kind of videos is they're just easy to do. No wonder everyone does them. I'm gonna get in the car here because we got some things to talk about. So this is something I've kind of been wanting to talk about for a little while now. Um, and now that I'm doing these vlog videos, I feel like it's a perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and have this conversation. So there's a lot of things we all want to do in life. There's a lot of things I want to do in life. Um, and with the FOMO Cobro YouTube channel and just the brand in general, I'm really hoping, you know, I don't look, I'm not hoping they be all rich and, you know, whatever from YouTube, but I would love to be able to fund uh, my, my passion and love for cars and uh, just be able to give myself opportunities and experiences that I would uh, not otherwise have. And I know YouTube has just been uh, very successful for others and uh, you know, I've watched many YouTube channels uh, grow to points that they didn't even think was possible. And so I'm ready to, you know, have my turn as well. And with that, with the positive hope, with a prosper, you know, uh, future it, going into YouTube and building this brand, obviously I want to have quite a few different projects along the way. My current two cars is the 97 Cobra and the lovely 2014 SHO. And well, two Fords are great. Wouldn't three be better? So there's been a car that I've been wanting to get ever since I got rid of it. And I've been wanting another Fox body like crazy. It's been eating at me, man. It's been really eating at me. I've wanted another Fox body the day I signed the title over for mine. It was a sad day. Yeah, I mean, the car was rough. It really was, but that car meant so much to me. I did everything I could to make that dull white paint shine as bright as I could. Back then, I didn't have the money. I didn't have the tools and I didn't have the experience. So there were three things that really prevented me from getting that car from what it was to probably what I wanted it to be. It, it just wasn't the right time. It really wasn't. But now I've matured. I've gotten myself where, you know, money is not so much an issue like that. I can definitely have a little more spending money on my lovely cars. Um, have, I've definitely invested heavily in a lot more tools and uh, of course just through having other cars throughout the years and learning and doing I've definitely uh, picked up a thing or two on well how to do things and how not to do things. Now a good time I think to start maybe investing into another project. Now, this is a project that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Obviously, you just heard me go on for a few minutes here about this Fox body. So that's already a good indication of what I'm looking for. Yes, I want another Fox body. So let me tell you what I want. Now, something you've probably already learned about me is I do things a little bit differently than most. You know, I don't like being like most people. I like to try to be a little bit different. I'm the one that tries to set the pace, not the one that tries to keep with that pace, right? So I like to do my own thing. And, you know, I thought to myself, if I get another Fox body, would I like a V8 car? Of course. Would I love a coupe, a notchback again? Absolutely. Can I afford one now? No, there is no way I can afford one now. Absolutely not. The prices of the Fox Body Mustangs have just went through the roof for, for a nice car. And I personally just don't want to see myself paying that much. That money I would put towards a GT350. But regardless, there are a few out there that uh, still sell for a good price. You know, what you would expect a 25 plus year old Mustang to sell for. So what I am looking for is a convertible. Oh. Kirk, how dare you? You don't want a convertible Mustang. You don't want a convertible Fox body. They're horrible. They're the worst of them all. 
if you want to try to go the fastest for the cheapest, if you're just building the fastest car you can, yeah, you probably don't want to go with convertible for obvious reasons. Um, that's not my goal though. I don't care about going fast. Well, at least to be the fastest. Do I want a fast car? I want it to be quick, yeah. Do I care that it's the fastest on the road? Absolutely not. So I want a convertible. I want a convertible Fox body because it's probably the only convertible that I feel comfortable in. After uh, driving a, a Miata that my parents had for a little while and barely uh, being under the windshield, you know, as a six foot two person, it gets a little uncomfortable um, to ride in, in certain convertibles. Fox bodies, I know I'll fit. They have a pretty high roof line. So it'll be a comfortable car for me. I want a nice, uh, fun car to drive around in the summertime. Um, so what better than a convertible? Then comes the other question. Well, most convertible Mustangs out there are four cylinders. Yeah, that's probably true. You get the older ones, you get the V6, and then yeah, of course you can get your V8 ones, but the ones that I can afford are generally the four cylinder models. But that is key. That is a key part of why I'm looking at these cars. Kirk, no you don't want a convertible Mustang and you don't want one with a 2.3. What is wrong with you? There's a method to my madness. Let me explain. I assure you there is a perfectly valid reason why I want a 2.3 car. I want to be able to do a 2.3 turbo swap. I want a 2.3 turbo swapped manual convertible Fox body. Yes. That is what I want. I want a nice four, 500 horsepower, screaming four banger, and a Fox body convertible, you know, built to take some turns, built to, you know, put the top down on a nice day and go carve up some back roads. That is what I want. And that is what I'm gonna hopefully try to find. Now, I hope it makes a little bit more sense now. Not a lot of people do these 2-3 uh, two, turbo swaps in the Mustang. They're out there, trust me. Most people, if they're gonna be building a Fox body, they're going straight for a V8 swap, you know? And if they're going to be trying to be the fastest, you know, the guy on the block, chances are they're gonna be rummaging through your local uh, scrap yard for a used uh, LS V8, and they're gonna go try to send that, and hopefully that their gonads grow three times that day saying that they had the faster car. It still goes with me wanting to be different. So obviously building this kind of car as my next big project on the channel and just in life, I've never done a 2.3. I've always wanted to build a 2.3, um, but never, you know, just never had the opportunity. So I'm excited that that is gonna be a possibility here in the future and hopefully uh, viewers that are watching my videos now will appreciate it and of course future viewers um, being that it is something different it's not something that you normally see no it's not about an ego thing it's not me wanting to be one up everyone it's me it's me wanting to be different from everyone so you know that's why I decided to take a perfectly nice Cobra and completely dismantle it and turn it into this crazy well I mean it's still ongoing project but you know this crazy kind of race car inspired road going um, car, you know, and I have big, 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 big um, plans for it in the future. I definitely don't want to get rid of it. We're going to be working with that four valve, four six, and seeing uh, what she can do. I'm excited for that as well. But not, nevertheless, I'm not doing the same thing everyone else is doing. Trust me. Sadly, I tell you, the suckiest part about being different. The suckiest part about being different is it's more expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more expensive to be different, but you know what, in the end, completely worth it. 100% completely worth it. But I think now's probably a good time to kind of search the market. I don't have gobs amount of money, but I have a little bit put aside that I can put into another vehicle. Now, mind you, if I do acquire a vehicle over the winter time, I will not be doing anything until the spring. It will be a spring project. At least I would have it and I could start getting the build list together. So I, that's kind of why I want to see if I can acquire something now. I have a better time to score a better deal. It's not the right time of the year to be selling a car. It's the perfect time to be buying a car. So I'm just, you know, start browsing marketplace, browsing, you know, local ads and stuff, see if anything pops up, anything that's worth my time, worth my money. I really don't want a ragged out car. 
you know the first fox body it had was a, it was a bit rough and you know it was not the car's fault not whatsoever it was as usual the previous owner's fault and that's okay um but my main goals is as long as i can find a relatively rust free car like no major rot you know here in Maryland, especially in the winter, salt roads, surface rust is expected, and I am perfectly okay with that. No rot, no major body damage. A running and driving car, even if I do an engine swap, I still want to make sure that's running and driving. Um, and basically, something that is a good starting platform. Obviously, main goals there. Will I find one for the price I'm willing to pay? Who knows? That is the big question. That's the big what if. So there is absolutely zero guarantees that I'll even get one. But since you're watching the video, you know my intentions for the future. So at least you can be hopeful for me as I sit here and be hopeful for myself that I will possibly get another project car on the channel. All right, that's pretty much gonna sum it up here for this vlog video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you wanna see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next video.